welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're start, we're continuing with our uh, fire starting techniques and such like that. Uh, today we're going to do something that uh, we, we do actually after we have our fire going. Okay, you can see in the background here, I already got my fire going. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're going to make means to start a fire easier next time. Say we got to pick up and move from this site, move to another site, and we need to be able to make fire really easy over there. We can use this fire as one, for one way to do that. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a product called char cloth. Okay, for char cloth we only need a couple things. Okay, the first thing, um, this case, this here is a real cheap uh, uh, tin I found at an auction. Um, it's pretty well airtight and that's what we're looking for. Okay, and then the other thing we need is we need a piece of cotton. 100% uh, cotton. In this case this is one of my old work shirts here. It's all torn up and everything is 100% cotton. We're just going to stuff that down in our tin can here. Okay, put our tin can lid back on top. Now we don't want to seal this up completely because anytime we're heating something up we don't want it to be sealed up completely because there's a potential that uh, we could actually uh, increase the amount of air pressure in there and have something pop. Okay, and we don't want this lid coming flying off once it's hot. Um, you know that that could be potentially dangerous. So all we're going to do is we're going to make a small hole in one end. Okay, um, we don't want it to be too big because what we want is the smoke to stay in there and kind of keep the oxygen smothered out, but we don't want to be able to build up pressure. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take this here tin with just this 100% cotton. We're going to throw it in our fire over here and just let it in the fire for a while. We'll come back and check out what we made. Okay, um, I pulled my tin out of the fireplace a little bit ago just so it would cool off so I could handle it a little bit. You can see that our cloth inside, it turned black. And that's what we're looking for. We didn't want it to all turn to white ash. We wanted to turn to this black char stuff here. And this stuff should pull apart. You see how easily that pulls apart? Okay, this is one of the best fire making materials you ever find. I always like to keep a little bit of this in my pack. And if I'm making a bird's nest, I'll throw a little bit of this right down the center of the bird's nest. It'll catch a spark really easy, really quick. And you can see I made a good bit of it, you know, pretty quick off of it, just an old junk t-shirt I had laying around. And that wasn't even all the t-shirt, that was just a little bit of the t-shirt. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of this here char cloth, a little bit goes a long way. This will last me, you know, a couple of years here. Um, and I just like to, I keep a little bit of foil around in my pack and I'll just roll that up in a piece of foil, throw that down the bottom of my sack. And anytime I need to get a fire going, I know it's in there. I know it's going to be pretty reliable. And, uh, you know, keeping it in here will kind of, you know, waterproof it a little bit. There's many other things we could uh, include in our pack to, you know, help us get our fires going whenever it comes to that situation. And this is just one of them. We'll get into more of them here as time goes on. Uh, just something to think about, you know, is another thing just to throw in your pack. And you can see, you know, till I work that down, it doesn't take up much room. It'll sit, sit right down the bottom of my backpack pretty well. And uh, I know I got a fire going pretty easily with this and my flint striker that I always carry with me. Um, just, you know, something to, get, like I said, to, to think about. And until then, until next time, keep your line wet and out of the trees.